Hello everybody, I am Monkey Puzzle and welcome to episode number 22, playing Resonant Rise 3, Rise of the Resonant Monkey. <laughs> Glad to be back with you guys. Let's do a Minecraft episode, what do you say? So let me see, let me turn around and revisit our little list here, our clipboard. So I still have not succeeded in updating the pack. I've put out a couple support requests and the most latest update for Resonant Rise 3 and the one immediately before it both don't work. So we will get to that when we can. I think it's because my server host is running Java 7 and I'm thinking that it's more stable in Java 8. My client is in Java 8 and it has no problem with the updates, but the server does. So figure that out. Oh, I should make some more Tinker's Hearts real quick. That won't take long. I won't need them today to prepare myself, but why not? Since I just looked at it and we got it on the thing, I need seven more. So let's make seven more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ha 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 ha, counting with Monkey Puzzle. <laughs> we need seven of these. That's not a problem. We have a couple thousand diamonds, something like that. So now, and we have so many necrotic bones, it's ridiculous. So there we go. Oh, I got 10. Okay. <laughs> I'll have a few extra. That's all right. Uh, no biggie. But then now if we go back to here in my inventory, over here I can add those. And now those little yellow hearts that are on top of my red hearts should climb to 10. And I don't foresee being in danger today, but I was waiting to do that on camera. Let's continue going through the list. So we'd started some forestry machines. We started the bees and the whole ag experiment station over at the Highlands biome over there where that uh, waypoint is. So that's good. More dinosaurs to come. We, let me see, I got to start Thomcraft soon, but today, hopefully, we're going to also start Pneumaticraft. And then over here, let's see, we did a whole bunch more stuff in Batania, and there is more to do. And this is a whole nother page I've added to the list that we shall get to. I can make the Wyvern armor, but, and the Angel Ring once I do the Division Sigil, and that will lead to the Hardcore End, so we can get Awakened Draconium. But I got to coordinate with Cat Dog in order to be able to do that. And because this something we probably won't want to do together, maybe he doesn't care, but the Hardcore Ender expansion is going to th make things a lot tougher over there. And we probably want to do that dragon together. That's the dragon that can like blow up the end blocks under your feet and he shoots fire and all kinds of nastiness. But let's move on and go on to the, no, not that one. Terminate the Highland Bee Station. Meet you over there. All right, here we are. And let's get into hover mode. And I'll show you the changes I did to the place. I've upgraded a little bit. I made some fantasy blocks from Chisel 2 and used those to give it a little bit of structure in the column besides the glass and made a nice ring of it. This is, that and that are both fantasy blocks. I think they kind of work. I'm not sure, but I think it's looking better than it was and it makes a little bit more sense and I kind of finished filling the land back in around it too. So that's all good. And we have our nice place to do all our bees and the trees and everything. So what I accomplished since you guys were here is I finished doing the rotation of the bees through, basically we took rocky princesses and added a bunch of forest drones and meadow drones from pristine stock to them. And now those rocky princesses are all straight up forest princesses uh, or, or meadows princesses. And I know that they're done with the breeding because now all the drones that come from them stack. So there's no changes happening at this point. So we can go ahead and take the drones out. Let's do that on this side. 
and go ahead and take all these drones. This is the one here that was resisting finishing stacking up like that, and now it's there, so that's good. And then let's go over to this other row here, which was the meadows ones, and take those drones out, put these. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cross these with the forest drones, Azo, and I don't know why I always say Azo. Hopefully it doesn't annoy you guys, but it's just something to say. So we're going to cross these with these guys, and I've got chocolate frames in here right now which makes them die more quickly, which is good in this case, because it makes the breeding happen faster. So let's go ahead and add some more forest drones with the meadows, and one more time up here on that side. And then we can take all these meadows drones we have, and go over here and add them to the forest princesses on this side. So we are starting some pretty serious crossbreeding at this point. And it's nighttime once again, and we've got butterflies already, which means the trees have been pollinating as well. Uh, then we'll take a peek at that and see how that's going on. But let me sleep first, <laughs> make sure all this hard work doesn't get blown up. Did I finish that? I did. Okay, so these should still all stack. That's great. These are all homogenous. And all the random bees that I got in the breeding, I've been throwing in this filing cabinet because it's just a great way to deal with these things that don't stack in normal situations. And you can see in the process, I accidentally already got some common drones and some cultivated drones. These are our next goals right now with the breeding. Butterflies. <laughs> Where'd they go? They're pretty. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right, so on that note, we should check out some of the, the tree stuff. Uh, one more thing, though, to do with the bees is let's make some soul frames. I did not have this area on a chunk loader before, a chunk anchor, a dimensional anchor. So a lot of things did not happen while I was gone. So this is still in process. We're still turning logs into impregnated sticks with the seed oil from the squeezer that takes forever. So you don't, oh, you saw one there. You don't see any seed oil building up yet because it's all getting used up each time there's some here. As soon as this is done, hopefully uh, we'll be doing pretty good. It takes a while though. Let's make some frames. Some, uh, here I put the word impregnated in here and that will make it easier. So there is our are our impregnated sticks so far, 718, which is not that many considering it takes eight to make every one of these. Let's go ahead and make some more of those. Hopefully I have enough string. Let's just make a bunch of those. We're gonna need some more. We're gonna need to hold on to eight and let's throw the rest in here and go ahead and use those. That's perfect to make some more soul frames. So I actually have some here. Okay, I've got six. They're in pretty good shape. And so that need, means we just need two more. So there's one, there's two. And let's go back down here and throw those in. So we'll take this beat up one and replace it with a soul frame. And I'll go back and use these to repair later. So this adds extra mutation. This adds extra fast lifespan, which is happening now. And, oh, I guess it's already taken on the forest trait. Okay, well, um, this is actually a good time to bring out the beelizer. Let me throw, oh, okay, let's just go ahead and beelize. So let's take that princess, and I need one more space in here somewhere. Here, I don't need my carpenter's hammer on me. Um, the rest I might need. Let's just take these off my bar for the second. Oh, and let's eat. I'm hungry. Om, nom, 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 nom. Cookies. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we throw, uh, I still didn't grab it. The princess in here. And we'll see. So she's forest, forest. Did we actually switch these? Okay. I'm just, I have to remind myself what I did. I've got meadows down here and forest down there. 
Oh, I guess I didn't do it. So that should be Meadows. Let's put eight of those in there. Either that or the server forgot that I did it. And then to start the crossing like that. So this one hasn't done anything yet, except now it's making that queen. And we won't really know, I think, until she's done what has happened to her. Uh, it still says that she is forest, forest. But once she makes some offspring, we'll start seeing the uh, crossing happen. And we want to get common and work up to cultivated. And then there's noble and majestic. And then hopefully, I might be forgetting some, but then we'll lead up to imperial and industrious. And that's going to lead us to the rest of the stuff that we need. Uh, the other bee types of bees that we need in order to get all the cool productive bees and in order to make alviaries and such. So every one of these now is going to have soul frame, impregnated frame, and chocolate frame. This one I'm just leaving in because it helps make more products so that we still keep accumulating honeycombs. I don't think it can affect how many drones or princesses you can get. That's inherent in the genetics of the bee. But it does affect the products like the comb and such like. So I'll just finish this up real quick. All right. And so those are on their way to the next stage. So there'll be quite a few crossings until we get there. And this one I had started to set up the automatic cycling of the bees, but I realized with what I'm doing now, that is a bit premature. We'll set that up on all of them later. I'll do it in between. Because right now I want to be able to monitor what's going on. Let's go back up here. All these frames I have left, these guys, I have to do the, this time-consuming thing and go ahead and fix them all up. They're definitely worth keeping. Uh, eventually we're going to get a villager over here, set up, have him set up a little shop that will then set us up with proven frames. And those will last a lot longer. And I won't need the seed oil in order to do them. Well, I just did some stuff and realized that I wasn't recording. Sorry about that. But the part you missed is I made some spectacles for myself, not of myself. And I made a whole bunch of these grafters. And when you put the spectacles on, you can see all these leaves that are gray. And these are leaves that have been pollinated by the bees, and they're a crossing of the different kinds of trees. So the grafters are good because you get a guaranteed sapling every time you break one of those leaves. If you didn't use the grafter, you'd only get a percentage chance. And that's not a good idea because you only get a percentage chance of getting what you want in the crossings in the first place. So without the grafter, this would take forever. So I had just gone ahead and said, I'm gonna go and finish getting all these. And then we're going to throw them in the beelizer, or I mean the treealizer, and see what we get. I'll be back in a moment. Another thing I had talked about is that these grafters do not last very long at all. Oops. I've been getting about an average of about five uses out of each one. There's a thomium grafter that we'll be able to get to later once we start thomcraft. And the best thing about those is you can put the repair enchantment on them. But in the meantime, we're going to be able, we're going to be going through a lot of these grafters. So I think that's most of them. Oh, there's a few more. Be right back. Okay, I th threw down another filing cabinet here and been throwing all the saplings in there. And even though they all look different, they all have the number 4602. So the filing cabinet accepts them just fine. And you can see some of these are the forestry version of the vanilla saplings, but some of them are new. We have silver lime, we've got mundane larch, and we've got common beech. And so these are brand new trees. Let's grab, I love the butterflies. <laughs> I get distracted every time I see them. And that's because we have forestry trees growing. Every time you have forestry trees growing, you get butterflies, and sometimes you need to use Opus to get rid of them because they keep breeding and breeding and they can overwhelm the server. But within limits, they're lovely. So now we can go ahead and place some of these guys and check out what they look like. 
So let's see, let's check out a silver lime. There it is. Uh, so you can see new bark textures, new wood textures. And here we go. You can see the wood is a different color. I am not going to, uh, well, <laughs> I guess I could before I've done this, uh, just so you can see what the wood looks like, but we can't leave that floating. So there we go. That's brand new. And I, let's go maybe over here and do a beach. As long as we don't cover over the tops of the apiaries, we're doing fine. So there is a beach, another brand new tree. It's wood. Looks like that. Getting pretty orangey. There's a lot of orangey ones, but as you go further along the line, you start getting to some really cool ones. And then also we've got, oops, that's not the mundane larch. That is. And let's grow it. And I think it's got the coolest bark of the new, you know, the first tier of breeding of trees. That's pretty neat looking. And let's check out what its wood looks like. It's kind of pinkish. There it is. So that's that. And then I can just get the rest of these planted. And then they're going to go ahead and start crossbreeding with each other and with the forestry versions of the vanilla saplings. And at some point, I'll have to start looking at the charts and figure out what I'm doing. But for the first round, just doing a shotgun approach like this works fine. Just crossing the converted vanilla ones. And if you didn't watch before, you convert the vanilla saplings just by throwing them through the treealizer, which I didn't do with any of these saplings so far because I didn't really need to yet. Um, that will come later when we start to really manipulate traits. But right now I'm just looking for the new varieties to show up. And while we're here, let's just do one more thing. Let's go through and keep this breeding going along. So you can see we've already got some commons happening here. So I can go ahead. Well, let me see, do I wanna do that? I wanna make sure that the commons keeps going in this princess. I want her to become a common princess. So, <laughs> and common is better than mundane, so that's good. So she's got meadows and forests. She doesn't have actually have any common in her at all. So let's grab her back. And then we do have these two common drones in here. So let's take those out for the moment and check out what's going on with these two common drones. That one's common forest. There's a whole bunch of traits there. And that one is common, common. And there's a whole bunch of traits there. So if I throw this one back in, there's a very good chance that she will have some common in her. In fact, it's a 100% chance that she'll be at least 50% common. So that's good. And we're on our way to a common princess with that, which is, like I said, the first step before these ones, the cultivated ones. And I'm just going ahead and doing it from the start. I know I ended up with some. Normally in the past when I did this, I would also be paying attention to the traits, trying to get the best traits I could as I breed them up, which takes it, makes it take significantly longer. I would even try to like breed in some rocky bees and get some of the traits like cave, which means they can be covered up and it's okay, or nocturnal, which means they run even when it's night, which they don't now. But I'm going to start Benny's genetics in the very near future, and that's going to save me from even having to worry about that. Right now, we're only worried about which varieties we get, the different species. So as long as we, they say common and, and so on and cultivated, they're good. And so I'll be saving myself time that way. So I just need to go through these and continue to do what I did. You can just... Do it that way. I know that one has some common in it. These might have recessive common, but that would be good enough. And so on. So I will continue this and then we'll get, uh, I'll come back. All right. My neighbor finally stopped making noise and I got a little platform set up there to blow up some iron. In the meantime, I was just working on sending the bees through a few more cycles. I've got... Let me see, these I just bealized already, I'll show you. They are cultivated, cultivated, and you can see how the traits start to get better 
when you get to the different varieties, the different species. So I want to get this one to pure cultivated. My goal right now is to get purebred, basically, of each of these. Oh, look, we got a noble. So that's already moving on us up to the next level. Let's check out these. So that one is cultivated and noble. And this one is cultivated, cultivated. Well, hold on. I just analyzed this one, and it's noble and diligent. So this one's really moving along. <laughs> so we'll just throw that one back in. And we're just advancing super quickly through the bee species here. And we're, we've got common, we've got cultivated, now we've got some noble and diligent in the mix. So that one's still got some forest. That one's cultivated and cultivated. This one's pure as well. And that one's pure and noble. So let's go ahead and send that one in there. And we'll just be on the fast track. And I can explain this better later, but the fact that we're going to be using Benny's genetics means that as long as we have any of these species at any point, we'll be able to bring them back if we need them. So it's okay for me to go a lot faster through them than I normally do. So those, these, this was common, common. So if we keep going with this, we pretty, sh pretty soon should get to a purebred common. Unless these soul frames keep mutating them, which is partly what's happening. But you can see this isn't so bad. A lot of people are really afraid, not afraid, but uh, resistant to doing the bees because it takes so long. But just in an episode here, we've moved up through four new species and we have three new trees. And it just takes a little bit of this. It, it's a good practice to keep looking at the bees in the beelizer when you're doing this breeding. And what I'm going for in this case is ones that are the same on both sides, because that's what's going to get us to pure ones that will just cycle around and around. And then I'll be able to build up a whole bunch of common drones and a whole bunch of cultivated drones and noble and so on. Um, and I'll have those for later. But anyway, I think this was long enough. I was going to start Nematocraft in this one as well. Gosh, every 10 minutes, <laughs> like clockwork. <laughs> that dang Minecraft sun goes away. And we're still not really 100% safe here at all. So, yeah, thank you for joining me for this one. I am going to start Nematocraft the very next episode. And I'm going to record it right now, so it will be... It's getting done. It's coming out. So this one's coming out tomorrow on Tuesday. So the new Mattercraft will come out on Thursday. And I'm getting into a fairly regular cycle of Tuesdays and Thursdays now is my goal for Minecraft. We'll see what happens. And then I'm mixing it up with a lot of ARC right now. It's really easy for me to churn out the ARC episodes. So those are coming faster than the Minecraft ones. But don't worry, you shall get no less Minecraft and doesn't seem like as nearly as many of you are interested in ARC yet, but I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm playing. And at this level in my YouTube career, the big part of it is just sharing what's fun for me. You know, I could be trying to find what is getting the most views and wondering how it'll affect my sub count and my subscriber count and all that. But really, I think the success of this channel is just going to be me having as much fun as possible and hopefully that will be infectious <laughs> with you all. And you guys will like it and watch it <laughs> and all that stuff. Anyway, tell me what you think. This is Monkey Puzzle. Looking forward to your comments and hopefully your likes and not too many dislikes and, and, and all that stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.